Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another episode here on Pastiche of Skin. It's very good to have you back. Thank you very much for joining us. We're going to be playing some PSVR today. We're going to be playing a game called Control. CTRL. Control. Control. Alt. Maybe not delete. We'll see what is actually worthwhile. Um, what I know of this from what I've actually seen experience-wise, it's a VR interactive movie experience that actually kind of has some gameplay elements to it that I am completely unaware of. Uh, the devs have actually told me one thing and one thing only is that there is a big twist about three quarters of the way through the game, but there's no way we're going to actually get to that, I think. So I'm not going to be given any spoiler territory. So if you want to check this out yourself, this is a spoiler free zone. So let's get the VR up and running. Oh, so it should already be powered up and connected. All we need to do is get it onto my head, which is sometimes a mild task. All right, let's see here. Okay. Oh, well, that feels reasonably comfortable. Now the problem is I cannot see my controller. Where did I put it? Oh, there it is. Right. I think we're good. Okay. Okay. Okay, guys. Well, let's rock and roll. We got this. I really, really don't like wearing the VR while playing. Oh, hang on. I've got audio playing in the background here that shouldn't be playing. Hanging on. Need to rescue that and stop that. There we go. Right. Okay, this feels stiff enough. Right. Mm. Oh, oh, <laughs> I don't like having too many buttons around me whenever I'm wearing the headset. Hi guys, look at the studio. Seriously, actually, this is probably one of the few times you actually get to see how much of a mess my studio actually is. And I feel bad for it, but <laughs> shit, what else can I do? Oh, damn. Okay. So, um, we'll put this down to the side so we can get in the way while I'm actually using this. Because, as always, VR is... Whoa, oh shit! Huh. Yeah. So you've got chess and shit. So, this kind of maybe has a bit of a play Ready Player One kind of vibe going on. But as a story, so let's check it out. So, of course, this control by breaking forth. Please ensure you are using headphones. Well, yes. I highly recommend you guys use headphones. This is a 20-minute production. Okay. Control is a dark, emotional, and complex story. Now oh. sit back oh. and relax. I thought this was actually a much more interactive about to start. It does tell you to be sitting in a swivel chair, but... Uh... I'm not going to do that. <laughs> yeah. Whoa. Still awake. Make the move. Think about the house. One with a garden. Just like Nan's. Our house. It's safe. Without him. I hear everything. I hear when he... And afterwards. We're crying. And I can't do anything. I promise. I can get us out. <sighs> I know how to win. This is my world. Here, I'm in control. Kill that brook, the knight, and then the king. I'll be king. Oh, wow. And welcome back. I'm your host, Dom, Dominate Williams, alongside my co host, Charlie, Seabob, Mathers. Hey there. And we, just like all of you at home, are very excited. Very excited. That's right, Dominator. This is it. We are in the closing stages of today's final. Only one question left, Seabomb. Can our final player snatch the crown from our current leader's fingertips? The man still in number one spot is Jihu from Seoul, Korea, with a total of 9 minutes, 12 seconds. Poor Jihu will be chewing his nails down to the bone for the next 15 minutes. One competitor stands in his way. Let's hear from him now. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up. 
for Liam. Liam, welcome to the final. Hi, thanks. Hi, Liam. Seabon here. For our audience who've missed the previous rounds, remind us of where you're from. London. Great. So, you're up last. G, who's got one hand on your 25k. Let's get under nine minutes. And it's yours. Pressure's on, right? Yeah. I'm a bit nervous. Don't be. Liam, you've been slaying those pieces like cattle in a slaughterhouse all tournaments. Bloodbath! Bloodbath! <laughs> <laughs> got a favourite strategy? Uh, I don't know. I like to get into sheltered spots and far from cover. Yeah, in the semis you were unstoppable from those hiding places. The other pieces didn't know what was going on. The invisible killer. Now, I'll be honest, Liam, I still can't quite believe it. You play without a sponsorship. How's that work for you? Uh, it's, it's alright. Really? Well, I guess I'd have my own PC if I had a sponsor, but aside from that... Wait, what are you on right now? Uh, my mum's old laptop. Your mum's old laptop? Yeah. Um, I, I did have one, but Mark got angry and... Ladies and gentlemen, it. round of applause for this competition's Cinderella story. Our only player in this final without a professional sponsor. So, if you win, you're straight online to buy a new rig? Uh, no, uh, if I win, the uh, money will be a present for someone. Oh, yeah. Who? Your girlfriend? Uh, I'd rather not say. <laughs> oh, come on, Liam, tell us! Okay, um, well, not really a present, but more a deposit for a house. That's cool. Where? Coventry. Ooh, moving up in the world, or at least moving north. <laughs> yeah. Any of you outside the UK, Coventry's one of the grimmest little cities Britain has to offer. What the hell makes you want to move there, Liam? Uh, it's, it's where my nan lives. Back to the roots. Yeah, the roots of an ugly dying oh, tree. Well, thanks, Liam. Ladies and gentlemen, let the game begin. Our final competitor is about to join the fray. So the last player in the tournament. Will there be one final twist in the battle to claim the prize money? As we're, we're in the game now, Liam's away looking to win all four levels and score the best combined time. Nine minutes, twelve, he's got a beat. Liam, playing it safe to start with, patient, just like in previous rounds. Can Liam give us some action? Can he win that deposit? 25k could get three deposits if you want a living commentary. <laughs> oh, great shot! Go on. Will knock out! Liam takes out the rook, drains its energy. Now we're talking. 30 seconds gone. Killed that rook like a pro. First step towards the new house. A young lad with big plans. I don't know what's more crazy. Spending it on a deposit or having your heart set on coffin Oh, that's I love Liam, I want to turn that weapon on my phone. He can't yeah. hear us, Mom. He's already in game mode. Is that Jess? No, yes. it's not, Mum. She's got some nerve. You take these games too seriously. This is about as serious as you can Mom. get. Mum, you'll get off it when Mark gets home, then, won't you? Mum. Liam. Just try not to put him in a bad mood, OK? Liam proceeds, spurned on by his coach. Excellent cover. Go on. All firepower here from Liam. Shoot out. Come on. Blam, blam. Dodging, oh. use the opponent. Oh! Perfect yes. shot, and annihilates the bishop. Liam's on fire. Good cover. Switches it off. Yes, great. Oh! Liam takes out the queen. Oh, kills her. Up there with the big boys now. Maybe Cinderella is going to the ball. Not sure he'll find a ball in Coventry though. <laughs> Liam, I'm going to make you a mark of bolognese tonight, okay? Fucking make him anything. Oh! Hello, apologies to the viewers. What about you, Mum? Oh, salad's fine for me. We need more than that, Mum. Don't let him. <sighs> okay, you're right. I'll do some for me as well. Don't know about this fairy tale, Sea Bomb. I'm just seeing the fairy. Whoa! Liam under fire now! Come on, take you out. Fuck! No! Shut up, blasting! Can he do it? This game needs a detonator, not a dietitian. Oh my lord! Oh, incredible! Come it's gone off like flies! Come on, you bastard. Oh, saucy! <laughs> Go on. Now. Just Liam and the king now. Yes! Oh! Liam completes the level. Liam's about 
about to get lost in the desert. How's my beautiful family? Mark. Dinner on the go? Yeah. Bolognese? Yes. And what are you having? Bolognese. Oh, fat chance. Salad, Alice. Don't want to get ourselves up on our weight watch, do we? No. Grand. I'm going to put my feet up. Call me when it's ready. Shifting sands of time, and all things to come. And we're back from our first break, and slam! Guess who's through the door? Liam, into the next level. Not bad from his mum's old crap top. <laughs> Dream start for Liam. That shootout with the king. My God! Bloodbath! Bloodbath! <laughs> Let's see how he's doing. Well done, Liam. You're into level two. Ah, oh, cheers. It's just the first step, though. Got to keep on form. Liam, on form? You ruined that king at the end. Thanks. So, I guess you're going to be moving into this new house, but who's coming with you? Any brothers or sisters? Uh, no. Just me and my mum. And what about your dad? I don't have a dad. Okay, Liam, uh, another little question for you. Who's your favourite band? Uh, or a pop star, musician, whatever. Maybe... maybe Adele? Adele? Yeah, you know Adele? Yeah, I know Adele, but seriously, she's your... I mean, no, she's not, like, not my favourite, but me and my mum listen to her. Oh, that's sweet. Okay, Liam, thanks. Now, next level! <laughs> Again. Oh, he's off. Come Liam on. from the other side. Taking us to Dormitory with Adele in his car stereo. This level's renowned for being deserted. Opponents really take their time appearing. Sometimes it's minutes. Liam? Liam, you know you're right. Liam's coach with the team talk whilst he waits I'm not for the do this anymore. Mum, what if we could leave? Go stay with Nan? <laughs> She's no space for us, love. I can't afford it. I'm in the final of this game. I could win thousands. Liam. Just, just think about it. Okay? Oh, nice. Mummy's boy taking a break from the game plan to Alice? lay down his life plan. Alice! Finally, here oh. we go! The king appears, closing in. Are you pretending you can't hear me? Oh! Here they come, though! Other pieces from all sides! You're taking the piss, you deaf bin! Wow! Sounding tasty out there! Maybe we should buy Liam a bigger webcam. Uh, I'm not taking this anymore. Mark, you need to treat me with more respect. Oh, fuck off! Fires into empty space! What was that? Oh, Liam's lost it. I am not joking, Mark! Oh. Me and Liam. Oh. We're going to stay this at my mum's. Boy. No, no this chance. This boy's genius! What are you grinning about, Liam? Well, you've been your clever, don't you? Bloodbath! All over the shop! Shit, Gareth. Fuck. You're not going anywhere, end up. making his move. Time to kill the fish. Was this your idea? Trying to turn her against me? Answer the question, mummy's boy. Yes. I think you're so fucking smart, don't you? Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We're ready to start the third level. Here we go. Two other opponents in this level. 
King, Queen, and Liam's pawn. Unlike other levels, here Liam needs to kill the king and protect the queen. Right, Liam, off that, we need to have a chat. Liam, look at me when I'm talking to you. Leave him. Oh, shut the fuck up, Alice. Yeah, Leave brother. him. But Liam arrives in a flash. Oh, no. Liam completes the level. And that means... Liam. 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 We've lost connection. Ladies and gentlemen, see you after our final break. Please. Oh. Please. Stay out of this, Alice! Ladies and gentlemen, we're very sorry. Our connection with the player has been lost, and... And unfortunately, that's it. There's nothing we can do. Our utmost apologies. An unexpected end to our championship, but what we can confirm is that there's a man sitting in the middle of Korea who is about to be crowned. <laughs> hello! Hello! Liam! Hi! Liam! Sorry, hello! Sorry, sorry. Are you okay? Please, I didn't mean it. Please, I need to do the last level. Liam, don't worry. Please, I have to win this. It's alright, Liam. Dodgy connection happens all the time. Yeah! Ladies and gentlemen, this is it. This is it! Oh, what a turn up for the books. Our last player is back from the dead and ready for our last level. He's got a better time at this stage than every single player before him. All he's got to do is complete the level and Liam from London will be crowned king. And we're on. Liam ascended. Put him and I'll call the police. Oh, you wouldn't dare. Try me. Yeah, okay, let's do it. You think I'm scared of a couple of coppers? Mom! Keep playing, Liam! <laughs> you two deserve each other. Fuck King and Queen together at the top level. You lay a finger on him! You think the police are gonna save you? They'll help me beat you senseless! Do it, Mum! The Queen darts backwards, cornered him. Yeah. They'll cover here. King prepares to fire. Oh! And Mark grabs a glass of the sidewalk and slashes. Oh, but Alice fires first! Launches herself at Mark, knocks him down! Mark crashes into the cooker, sending a bolognese everywhere! Great defense by Alice there! And now she retreats. But Mark on the offensive, back on his feet. No, Liam, stay back. Mark goes for Liam, who's jumped in, covering his bump, but pushes him behind her, blocking Mark's attack. Oh, and Mark fires, grabs Alice by the head, pulling her hair hard as he can. Oh, more fire. Alice kicks out. Mark's still in control, fires again, grips her throat now with his left hand. Great offensive, drags her towards the sink, pushes her into the cupboard. Oh, hand off her throat now, right hand free, so we can launch a fist towards her. Oh, what a dodge! Alice spins her body away from the cover. And Mark's arms flail, wobbles, blubs through thinner. <laughs> She's looking like she might get the upper hand. Here. Oh, oh, there we are, what a shot! Direct hit, Mark drives his right fist into her left cheek. Powerful strike, oh, again, direct fire into her face. Harder this time, left hand holds the back of her skull for optimal impact as he oh, strikes her face for the third time. Alice is weak now, could be a crucial blow. <laughs> right hand back onto her throat now, pushes her head back, direct strike, right handed, deep into Alice's mid-drift. Fires again, and again, and again. Liam still has his cover behind the table, staying back like his mum said. And again and again! Bloodbath! Bloodbath! Alice is fading, losing consciousness, slops to the floor. And Mark can finalise the kill here. One last bomb, direct strike. Her left cheek with his right fist and... Oh! 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 Total! Totally total! Ladies and gentlemen, that's the end of our contest this evening and we have our winner! And here he is, ladies and gentlemen, approaching Liam's corner of the room. It's okay. Mark here leaves Alice in his wake as he moves towards Liam. Sorry about before. Didn't mean to be too rough with you. Our champion, the king, winner of our grand prize. Still mates, aren't we? Where did he come from? Oh, he's been here all along. Mark here, in control. I'm here for you, Liam. Closing in. Gonna look after you and your mum. Ready to collect his prize. Don't worry. I'll always be here for you.
much for watching. Uh, this has been control. It says much of itself. It says everything it can for itself. speaking for itself, this is a great VR gallery piece. There's a um, very high level of thought put into its design. The purpose behind its soundtrack, uh, the audio being done with left right audio through your headphones for 3D sound is that if you want to look away you can't truly look away because your positional audio it's actually trying to talk about it is dark um, I expected it to be a bit longer than that that's why I end up just letting it roll straight to its end but yeah Set on and being part of it. They they did point out at the end if there's anything that affects you or anything you would like to speak about after watching that. It was in the credits if you want to go back and grab the link. Uh, I might throw it in the description underneath this. The there's not much I can really say. I mean, we all tell our own stories. If you have someone that actually relates to this, or you, it's a very, it's a very modern experience. You think about a way that somebody with any, without any power, will want to actually take the power from the person who's hurting them so badly, hurting the people around them that they care about so badly, by any means possible. And the eventual failure to do so can be quite devastating to anybody who's had to go through it. So, um, I apologize profusely to anybody who might have actually been upset by watching that. Might have had some memories, some history that actually would have made them reasonably, uh, like, reasonably upset by seeing something like that or listening into that. Uh, not much I can, I mean, that's, that's what, the, that's what the purpose of this thing was, was to shock and to illustrate. Uh, if you can, I highly recommend supporting projects like this, projects like Control, companies like Breaking Forth, because these are little uh, visual experiences that we can take home and experience outside of a gallery, outside of a performance, outside of a cinema. Conceptually, it was very well driven. Um, visually, it's, it has, I mean, there's, there's a fair amount of this that you're kind of going like, oh, this, this looks kind of cheesy. Uh, especially the projected screens and the, the acting that's involved in those, but uh, overall it does tie itself very well together. And um, I hope you've. Hope it, hope it illustrated something to anybody who's watching that you're not alone. That's the thing. You're, you're not alone. I'm, mm, that is annoying me. You can see him just floating around the background there. The, uh, you're not alone in the situation that you're living in. There are there people out there to help. And there are people who will help in any way they can. And you should uh, reach out to them in any way you can. And in the opportunities that you have between what might be happening. And, um... I've really got very little else to say other than that was impressive. I really enjoyed it. And I really hope you actually, um... 
enjoyed watching it with me. I'd love to do more stuff like this. If anybody knows of other virtual video makers, artists that are doing these kind of projects, someone that I can actually go and check out and see my, for myself, please tell me in the comments below. I would love to see more stuff like this. Uh, it's an interesting project and I'm very impressed by it. So more of this in the future, please. This is the kind of things you can do with a PSVR and the opportunity and being an indie developer. And a lot of people complain about a lot of the indie development stuff that's actually showing up on PSVR or P on the PSN in general at the moment. But this are the things that make it worth it. This is the thing that makes it worth it and other projects of its summer ilk. So yeah, guys, thank you very much for watching. If you um, enjoyed watching this, then make sure to hit the subscribe button. Uh, if you don't do the subscription thing, please feel free to actually memorize my name, search for me on the internet and uh, Pastiche of skin, easy to find me, not trying to hide. And of course, on YouTube, there is going to be the playlist, the most recent videos, and the video for you. This is um, a very subdued ending, rather than my normal bombastic end, as I say, thank you very much for watching, and I hope to see you all again <laughs> in the very, very soon near future. And please, please do reach out to somebody, reach out to anybody, reach out to absolute strangers um, that won't be assholes on the internet and um, I hope to catch you all in the comments beneath. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see all you dudes in the next video. Bye.